Hello everybody, this is Joseph Hauptang from Orgnet coming coming to you with yet another tutorial where I teach you a professional approach to software development and consultancy using jQuery, ASP.NET, JSON and MSSQL. In this particular tutorial I'll be showing you a very very small thing, it's gonna be perhaps between 5 to 7 minutes, just a very simple trick that I've started using recently when I have learned T4 templates and this is gonna be only about uh, automatic automated generated code, this, this tutorial, and how to set up your database in order to, and certain tables, how to add certain columns and how to set up your database in order to allow you to use automated, automated automatically generated code. Um, if you don't know what T4 templates are, I'm going to briefly, briefly tell it to, to you because not many people actually do. And I'm not going to teach you how, to, how you can uh, use them, uh, at least not yet. Google that and find some other tutorials how to do it. I'm just going to show you what, how do you want to uh, set up your database in order to use them. So T4 templates is basically a, um, a, a kind of parsing language, or we would say uh, Visual Studio uh, code generating language where you basically write a C-sharp code which outputs you, prints out a C-sharp code. Um, and in that way you basically can automatically, based on certain things that you want to do, create your code and your classes, which uh, is extremely powerful and extremely useful, especially when you when you want to do some, uh, some code that is specifically based on your database, but not on the tables, but on the data. For example, you want to have language entries. You want to mimic that. Uh, uh, you want to mimic what you, what a language original language file, the XML language file does. That you want to have uh, all the properties in your language file available after the dot. Uh, so IntelliSense works. This is possible using T4 templates and it should be done that way. It's very powerful and very useful. Because what you would basically do, you'd make a code when you access the database, get the, uh, t the data from the database, and based on your database you generate the properties and the classes using in, in, your, in your T4 templates so that when you are writing your code you get all the IntelliSense, everything working perfectly. It's a it produces you a valid code that is being compiled at the compile time um, and it's just extremely useful because very often you find yourself writing the same writing a code that is kind of similar but you can't really you can't really encapsulate it you can't really do uh, anything smarter using object oriented programming you basically have to automatically generate code and that's where t4 templates come in now really quickly jumping into the the database, because this is going to be only about database. This is the, the database that we have been talking about for quite a while right now, and I'm going to focus on only and only this one template, and it's going to be very brief. System data is a table when you basically store um, when you basically store uh, uh, some sort of um, some sort of table, some sort of data that is general for the entire database. One of the examples is database version, for example. Uh, and there can be many other things. You can, for example, store, if you're using a separate, uh, if you're using certain uh, external web services, you have to have a login, login credentials there. Well, that's where you put them. Some people put them in the web config, but I really dislike it because this is insecure, generally bad practice. What you want to do in a proper, proper way, you want to encrypt your, your, your login and, and password, for example, to a Facebook account that you're using or some sort of credit card payment module, whatever else, and then you want to store it in here in system data. As you can see, it's a very simple table, just key with a var and varchar 500 value, which just has some sort of value as a string. Um, and if we open the table, uh, show to you that there, there, there is, uh, and we wait for five minutes before my slow Visual Studio kicks in. Um, there you go. This is how it looks. It has a key. It has a value. Uh, where you basically say what kind of information it will be. Let's say system database version one. Then let's say payment module, um, a payment module ID, whatever. Uh, then let's say system credentials and crypto. Of course, this is not a true true string, uh, true value. I'll just put here some 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 encrypted uh, information. License encrypted. For example, when you want to um, when you sell somebody a product, your website, and you want to allow him only to have five concurrent users. For example, this would be in your license, and then this license, for example, would be here. 
encrypted of course sa saying that uh, certain let's say customer can only use five uh, has only can have only five accounts having this limitation if they change something of course they scrub the whole license and the whole software doesn't work and that's why they can't change it obviously you can't have it just a number because then they can open the database and like change it to 20 and then you're basically losing money another thing when you were when, whenever you uh, store t uh, dates always and always as, as you can see here always and always store them as a full UTC with uh, date time with the time zone always and always this is fundamentally important it uh, of course this row that I have here is useless because I would keep this information logger not here I only inserted it here for the purpose of showing you how you are supposed to store dates in such a field in such a table always have uh, full UTC uh, times timestamp with the with the uh, time zone. But coming, this is actually nothing. This is just a key value table. But coming to the really interesting stuff about the uh, T4 templates, you can see there are these two uh, columns. These two columns here that are very very useful. First, naming convention. Whenever any column is used only and only by T4 templates. I always add a C# -sharp prefix uh, into the column name is to indicate to myself that or to somebody else who's using it that this is not a table da the data that will be used by the system anyway this is just my information as a programmer that I'm going to use it's not going to be displayed anywhere it's not going to be used anywhere in the system as a functionality so they can just ignore this information this is just for you so th in that way I make a prefix and as always you know naming conventions are very important so there you go this is the naming convention now what do we put there as you can see this this data although it is a string string dictionary I mean key value pairs um, it will contain different thing like this is a date time this could be an integer these two would be strings or many maybe even other objects uh, you know it, it doesn't matter it can be actually any any type um, so you want to be able when you gen automatically uh, iterate through this table and automatically generate your properties that you will be able to access you want to be able to have it strongly typed, meaning that you don't return only strings, that you actually right away parse it properly. That's why you add the C# -sharp column where you specify the type of the uh, of the property that will be automatically generated from the from the table. The second thing that I do is C# -sharp description, and this basically is just a text which will be used as um, as uh, description of the of the property. So there will be the comment in front of it, which is basically used by the IntelliSense to automatically generate the documentation and uh, and uh, suggestions. So this is pretty much it. Uh, there's not that much more to it uh, un, uh, than this because it's actually just a simple idea that you ha you should do have these two columns. Um, so I maybe I'll maybe do I'll maybe end up doing a, a tutorial about the T4 templates because they are extremely powerful, really useful concept. And if I do, then I'll I'll I'll, I'll of course uh, return to this subject. Now I was ju now I was just showing you how to set up your database in order to allow to have um, in order to allow yourself to you to be used in a, in a very very systematic and proper way by T4 templates so I really encourage you to read about T4 templates they're super useful I can't even imagine I can't even express how how useful they are I really wish I knew them three or years ago when I was doing some coding when I didn't know that it's possible and I just was really hacking myself through with some with, with reflection and 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 some weird stuff and this is so much more useful when you do it that way when you when you when you when it is possible so I encourage you to learn about it and stay tuned for next tutorial I think this will be the last tutorial and be one before the last when I do the database so perhaps next week I'm gonna do one about the date uh, one more about databases and then I'm gonna actually start about jQuery and C sharp and MVC so stay tuned and take care and ask for your boss for a raise this time you didn't learn that much so for no reason just ask him for that because well why not you will know you always want to learn more okay take care guys see you next time bye